Hey guys, welcome to the video. And today, if you didn't know, TDS Tower Defense Simulator has finally updated after six months of doing nothing. And we have an event over here. It's called Frost Invasion. You could get shards by beating beating this event over there. I did it already. You'll get a tower. It's called a Sledger. And we have another tower here that's also new. It's a it's a toxic thingy. So it's basically a minigun that, that shoots toxin toxin needles. I think you got it from the last Halloween event, which is like half a year ago. This one, I'm pretty sure, just a gladiator with stun and area effect. And as always, when there's a new tower, we're going to see how it does in game. This thing looks like a gladiator that does a slowdown effect. Never mind, doesn't even do splash damage like gladiator. I don't know about this one. This isn't this isn't looking so good. And now coming in at, at 400, we have the toxic gunner. This thing is a soldier, but that it shoots toxic. So now that I upgraded this one to level one, if I do it to level two, it should probably hit two things at once as it it's advertised. And if I upgrade it to level three, it gets gets a ability to increase stuff. So we should see free stuff as you can see right there it hits two things at once now that's pretty so i have higher levels it might be useful and looking at the freeze here if you upgrade it to level three it gets the ability to free stuff while we're looking at that i'm going to upgrade this it, it poisons mobs because it's a toxic shooter at level three the bolts will damage stuff over time as you can see and now let's see the freeze ability again. It is able to stun or freeze two mods, and this guy is able to slow them down. As you can see, they're walking slower. If it if it's getting hit by the toxic thingy, so I think this this thing is actually useful, but this thing maybe not, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't slow down big bosses, but this thing does slow down like the like the big bosses, so. I think it's pretty helpful in this. And by the way, interesting thing, both of them do not get hidden detection even at max level, the hidden spot pass as you can see right there. And then this is level 4 already, it doesn't get hidden detection. This is level 4, it doesn't get hidden detection. The level up for this one is just longer effects and more bursts. And this is not gathering them, so it might look like look like a minigunner here but it shoots toxin stuff and it's burst instead so you're going to have some, some kind of hidden defense if you plan to use these towers exclusively so i think this these two are support tower in conclusion these two are support towers you should use them as such these are not main dps towers as you can see when the slow balls come it's going to show their weakness right here they're not gonna do anything and the hidden can be hit by the sledger if it's too close to a um, non-hidden mob just like the other splash damage units so these things are actually stalling the slow boss somehow but i wouldn't recommend you as a dps tower so this might have some dps this being for damage but i think the mini gunner is way better at a at a dps job the, the event tower is not that great unless you want to free stuff, but there's better stuff for it. This tower is actually useful because it does tick damage and it's a better soldier basically. It's not that expensive, it's only 400. And this thing, I believe, it slows down bosses. As you can see right there, it's pretty slow right now compared to those, those bosses over here. These walk faster. So I think this is great for for debuffing stuff, but we have stuff like the flamethrower. So it, sometimes this may be helpful if the mob is immune to flame. Sometimes it's not. These just got released. I just got this this like today. Honestly, the event isn't that hard compared to previous ones. So I suggest you to do it, and it doesn't hurt to do it at all. So at max level, this thing gets 4 hits, you see a stat right there, it does quite a lot of damage for, 
for how fast it hits. So imagine it's like some kind of close range railgun thing, 50 damage at max. That's not bad at all. That's actually pretty pretty good. But the range, it's a melee, so that's a disadvantage. This is the end of the video, and I would suggest you to do the frost invasion thing, especially if you can get the deluxe crate and all the other crates, but the main thing is this thing. You can't get it either way, and daily rewards, and it's the only crate that gives you female skins. Thank you guys for watching, if you like, subscribe, see you guys in the next video.